Hey guys, Janet here, and today I want to let you know that Etsy has updated the order CSV file by adding two new additional columns to this file, which throws off the built-in formulas that exist within your Etsy seller spreadsheet. So if you proceed with your current spreadsheet without doing anything differently, now when you download the Etsy sold order CSV, um, for no matter what month in the future or even the past that you're downloading, your spreadsheet is going to pull the wrong amounts into your totals on your on your monthly summary tab. So it's basically not going to work correctly anymore. And I want to make sure that we get you set to where you are getting the numbers that you need for bookkeeping and for tax purposes. So you have three options for how you want to deal with this formatting change. The first option is that you can simply download a totally new and adjusted Etsy seller spreadsheet for 2017 or 2018, depending on what year you're working with. This is the best option if you haven't done any bookkeeping for this year up to this point. If you haven't entered anything in your spreadsheet, then you might as well just start fresh with the new correct version with the adjusted formulas and go from there. If you do this, you don't have to do anything differently. The spreadsheet's already good to go. You're gonna follow the video instructions as per usual. The only thing that you need to do is get your hands on this version of the spreadsheet and for that you can email me at hello at paperandspark.com and just let me know that you need the adjusted version. Again, that's best if you haven't been using your spreadsheet up to this point. If you have been using the spreadsheet for 2017 so far and you've got data already entered in there, then you have two other options. The first option is that you can delete the columns that have been added to the Etsy order CSV before you do your import. So that would mean downloading your Etsy order CSV as per usual, opening it up, going over to the newly added columns, which are T and U, discount amount and shipping discount. These are the two new columns that Etsy has added. It's nice to know this but they're throwing everything off for your spreadsheet formulas. So your first option would be that you can just delete these two columns. And by to do that, you select them by clicking the T and the U. Click and drag, it selects the entire column when you select it up here. And then you can right click delete to get rid of them. And now you're basically back at how this spreadsheet, this CSV file used to be. So after you get it back to the amount of rows, I mean the amount of columns that it used to be at, you can simply copy and paste to your import just like you used to do. And everything is going to be going into the correct columns because that's how it should be. So now you're good to go, okay? So your other option is to add in the two new columns to your existing Etsy seller spreadsheet. And to do that, you'd navigate to whatever month you're about to import in. If you've already imported in previous months, they're fine. They're in the old version of you know the the CSV you don't need to make any changes there we're just going to do this on your spreadsheet for this point going forward so you navigate to whatever month you're about to import and then you're going to insert two blank new columns on T and U all right so to do that you'd select those columns by clicking the the letters at the top and then you'd right click insert all right, and then after inserting those new columns, the formulas on your monthly summary tab are gonna automatically adjust to look at the columns that are two columns over now. The spreadsheet knows what to do. The formulas are gonna automatically update for you. So after inserting those two new columns, you would go to Etsy and download your report as per usual, open it up, and then you would import it in with copy and paste as per usual. See how we've got these two new columns here. We're going to import them in just like we normally would. And everything is going to populate in the correct place. So you can check that like your shipping is in column V, just like where it is on the new version. Shipping is over here in column V. 
over here in column B. All right, so that is how you would do it if you wanted to insert columns. And again, we're pulling the correct numbers now. So just to sum that up, you have three options. You can start with a totally new spreadsheet, which you really only want to do if you haven't done any bookkeeping yet this year. Otherwise, you're going to have to redo all your work. You can download the Etsy order CSV and delete the two new columns before importing it in. Or you can add two new columns into your import tab before importing in the new version of the CSV file. If you have any questions or any roadblocks while you're attempting to do this, please reach out, email me. I want you to get your spreadsheet working for you. And you can always reach me at hello at paperandspark.com. Thanks, y'all.